about compression bandaging and what you really need to know about compression bandaging. Um, compression is not a new um, uh, invention. The mummies uh, underwent a very elaborate type of uh, bandaging. Uh, and while it may seem a little bit silly, um, the fact is that individual limbs of mummies were um, underwent compression, uh, in some cases with layers and layers of uh, various types of padding in strips that we probably would recognize as a pretty efficient way um, to um, uh, perform bandaging on an extremity. The fact is that when we think about what kind of care is needed for that patient with a venous ulcer, compression bandaging has a greater evidence base to support it um, than just about any area of wound healing. But when the U.S. Wound Registry performed an analysis of 26 hospital-based outpatient wound centers and looked at um, the records of 17,000 patients, um, uh, 2,000 of whom had venous stasis ulcers, adequate compression was documented um, in only about 7% of visits. Um, and that's a PQRS uh, quality measure. So the question then is why, when we know that compression works for venous ulcers, um, and it's one of the most strongly evidence-supported interventions in wound care, do we not get that done in clinical practice? 